Hey guys, we are in the warehouse of V-Flat World and we are filming episode 10 of Street Studio for Adorama. We're changing things up this episode because as Albert Einstein once said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. That's not the line. Are you sure? Take two. Now for this week's episode, we are not gonna be filming people, which is very sad because I love people, but you know what I love more than people? Food. So we're gonna be filming food, and we actually just released a new product called Duo Boards, which is perfect for food photographers and product photographers. Now with everything going on with COVID, and this new second wave that's going on, and the weather getting really cold, making it harder to film outside, we decided to do something really, really cool with our boards. These are some of the boards we're gonna be selecting. We're gonna basically choose four or five different boards, and then we are going to head to a secret location. So a friend of mine owns a restaurant. I called him for a favor. I asked if we could come film in his restaurant, which is empty now because of COVID, and they're only doing takeout. And we're gonna utilize his space and we're gonna shoot his menu on our boards. And we're gonna see what kind of cool images we can come up with. So we're here at the restaurant, Revolve which is a really, really cool place because it's in a building that was abandoned for 25 years. And the owner, David, decided to take the property and rehab it. And it's actually not on a main road. So you have to kind of go through this back alley and park in this back lot. They wanted it to be more like exclusive. It's more of a small, intimate type of place, but really high end, really, really good food. And they have an excellent chef too. Um, we are waiting for the chef to bring one of the three dishes we're going to be photographing. I'm excited to see. So in the meantime, we're going to get the boards ready. All right, we're here with Ben. Ben is actually new to this specific restaurant. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I've been cooking since I was a kid. You know, I'd help my folks out in the kitchen and my grandmother and all that kind of stuff. So eventually uh, I wound up going to culinary school and uh, went out to San Francisco, came back here, back home to New Jersey and started, um, you know, working here and uh, trying to make some, you know, interesting, interesting and lovely food that's kind of focused on um, the product itself. It's kind of the most exciting thing for me. So tell me about this dish over here. What are we photographing so today? So we made for you is um, a carpaccio of uh, braised beef tongue. So uh, we braise it off in some, uh, you know, traditional kind of pickling spices and give it a little, almost a little bit of a pastrami flair to it. And then um, basically everything else that's going to go with it is sort of reminiscent of a borscht. So we have some uh, some roasted beets, uh, some salt roasted beets, uh, some roasted uh, mushrooms, a little bit of uh, parsnip puree, and some pickled mustard seeds. And then what I'm going to do here is pour um, a broth made of red beets uh, and mushrooms over the dish as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull in a flash. The flash point evolved 200. It's pretty powerful actually. And I'm going to shoot that into a V flat. So I'm going to get the V flat and use that as my modifier. Very simple setup. I like traveling light. It's one of the reasons that I came up with a foldable V-flat. So I'm basically pointing this directly into the V-flat and it's gonna create this nice light onto the dish. Giving me like, kind of like that window light. This is a um, it's a moose chicken liver. Uh, it's cooked down with a little bit of uh, red wine and shallot, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and then next to it we have some compressed uh, yellow apples, uh, gastric made of maple syrup and white wine vinegar, and a little bit of celery and some pickled mustard seeds. All right, and you guys are gonna watch me eat this soon. I'm really excited to try this. Okay, so this dish is very dramatic. I, know I use that word a lot, dramatic, but I like things that are dramatic. So I'm not gonna add any accessories or anything around it. The V 
Bistre de... I was gonna say something in French, but I don't know French. All right, Ben, so what do we got? This looks like a dessert, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Well, yeah, this is the last thing I got for you, and it's uh, one of the desserts that you can uh, find here, I guess. It's a uh, you know, Mexican-style churro, very, very uh, traditional, with some um, you know, cinnamon and brown sugar, and a little bit of uh, caramel sauce and vanilla ice cream. I'm excited for this. Okay, so this one is like the tongue carpaccio, I think. I think there was some more fancy words to the name, but braised or something. Oh my God. Oh, real, I don't, this is not a regular mushroom. This is a, this is a special mushroom. This is the best thing I ever had. This one looked really interesting because it has apple in it and liver, which is kind of like interesting. Oh yeah. So liver is very like, how do I explain it? It's very like livery. And I feel like the apple in here actually like evens it out. Like the, cause I was like trying to figure out why there would be apple with liver, but it actually works really well. They balance each other out well. Mm, mm, mm. Churros, you know? A regular Revolve. That's Dave, that's the owner in the background, making sure everything's going smooth. Yeah, those are our signature churros right there. We've been serving them since the day we opened. Uh, probably one of our best uh, selling desserts here. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We had an awesome day shooting here at Revolve, which is a super cool restaurant in Lakewood. If you're ever here, come check it out. We met with the chef, Ben, who made really, really good food. Very unique stuff. Churros I've had, delicious as always, but the other dishes were something very, very new for me. I love food. I love food and I love photography, and I thought it was really, really cool to combine both of them together today. Thank you, Adorama. Thank you, VFlat World. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. We've got a lot more coming. Stay tuned.